CEO of Sound Planning Group. Look, you've been listening to this conversation. You're an Apple bull. How do you feel about events like these? Well, you know, no question that when Apple gets out there as one of the world's leaders, that, you know, the world pays attention. And when they start talking about AI, everyone's saying, hey, as you guys have, you know, changed the world of cell phones and how we listen to music and engage with our content across all of our devices, you know, how is AI going to make this better, more seamless, and uh, make us more productive on a day to day basis? So, you know, there's no question that Apple has very intelligent people that are working for them and that they're going to be innovating here uh, as everyone else is innovating. But I hope that they can really get you know the use cases of AI uh, integrated into these products and take us to the next level. Let's talk about Disney because um, the report showed that the streaming losses were paired so that was positive for the company but took a big hit from that media venture that it was working on in India so how should investors be looking at it? You know, Disney's a mixed bag right now. They've, they've got some reputation that they've got to fix, I think, with parents. I think the biggest issues that I'm seeing is, is really at the box office, you know, that, that they've just not had those big stunner videos and movies like they've, you know, been known for and, and really built their theme parks on, et cetera. Uh, so, you know, I... With, with Disney all over the world, I think that they're gonna be uh, you know, facing some of these similar hurdles, but I think that ESPN business is also you know, a big part of uh, some of those losses uh, that we're seeing here. So they've got a, a sort of a mixed understanding right now of who they are as an organization, and uh, hopefully they're, they're gonna get off the woke bug thing and, and they're gonna get back to making some core things that families are appreciative of. David, talk to me about Tesla. Their shipments in China are sinking. They got a lot of competition on the self-driving front there. Does not look good to me, but you're a bull. Why? Okay. Well, I like Tesla because I like the technology. Also, Elon Musk really put a lot of engineering into, you know, how do you actually even do the, the, the infrastructure of this business, which is how do you source materials? How do you bring these things together? So they sold more cars than anyone or any time last year. And so that, that's obviously very bullish. Now, full disclosure, I have two of these cars. Uh, and, and I think that the technology is amazing. Really clear though, I don't think that EVs are really, you know, the answer to all the world's problems as far as autos goes. There's just too many headwinds uh, that, that, that we're facing right now. But, uh, you know, I think that uh, when you look at Tesla and uh, that market in China, yeah, there is some stiff competition, but there's no question Tesla is the most profitable EV manufacturer. Uh, many of these companies are actually losing on yeah. each vehicle that they're uh, producing. So, you know, Ford's out of that business now. Fisker just filed bankruptcy. And uh, one question is, how does anyone get service if those organizations go out of business? Right. I don't see it happening. A lot of people are looking at Lucid today and thinking they could be in a similar camp, David. Thanks so right. much. Really appreciate it. Pleasure's ours. Thank you.